Hello. I am now on the line with the one and only Adam King from ly.news. How's it going, Adam? Pretty good. As people may not know, Adam King writes fantastic articles on our other website called ly.news. Check it out. So, Adam, obviously you go by the name of Top Sports Mind on Twitter. You're a great mind. Where do you see the Yankees pivoting if Aaron Judge, let's say, is out for maybe a month? Well, they're already talking to Yasiel Puig, but I don't know how much it is. They're just checking with him, where his price tag is, but it seems like they're working on things already. My best bet would be they turned to Nolan Arnauto and decided to bring him in while taking the hit in the outfield. Exactly. I could see the Yankees at least trading for Arenado come trade that line. Did you see that article about from the NJ.com website stating that Giancarlo Stanton and Nolan Arenado are best friends and Stanton texted him um, showing him support, etc. I mean, that's a good you know avenue to have to, let's say, make a trade happen for Nolan Arenado. That's an excellent one, and I guarantee you Stanton is telling Arnold not, okay, here to the Yankees. We're going to win titles. You want to win a title? Come here. Exactly. I mean, if, you know, these guys on the Yankees are not consistent when it comes to our power hitters, and I could see the same thing happening to Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez is very injury prone as well, and the Yankees never have that lineup where it comes to having all those big bats in the lineup. We've never really seen it, maybe for a couple of games. No, we have not. Anduar is going to help with his 3,100 bat, but it would be nice just to see them get healthy for a whole full season. Exactly. So, Adam King, obviously your background, you're related to a whole bunch of kings out there. Tell the class what's up with your background. Okay, so uh, Michael King is my cousin. My great-grandpa was his great-grandpa's brother. I never really had much to do with his side of the family, though, but I happen to know he's my cousin. So I never even met him. Though, uh, that great great grandpa I'm talking about, that great grandpa, his wife was named Marianne Ross. Her great nephew is Stephen Ross, the Dolphins owner. Wow, that's amazing. And what's your uh, background in baseball? I played baseball since I was three. I do have other family members that work for the Dodgers, uh, uncle that works for the Rockets and D backs on the computers, and he can leak information sometimes. So I got a lot of background in baseball. My grandpa's an umpire, my uncle's an umpire, my dad was an umpire, I'm an umpire. So I don't do it much after the concussion eight years ago. But yeah, I've been in baseball my whole life. What does your gut tell you, your intuition, when or if the Yankees are going to pull the trigger on Nolan Navarrado? Well, we got a little bit of a sign two days ago when Castro said he's not talking to anybody. I've only heard him say that three times, and all three times he's a deep talks for someone. We didn't know who the other three times. This time I think we can pretty much say it is Arenado. But when it will happen, it's hard to say. I wanted to say if they were going to get him before the season, it would have been done by now, but I've seen big moves before at this point. But I but, I do agree with you on that tweak thing. I think the Yankees, I think he's there for the taking. Oh, yeah, and he'll come you know, one year, $2.5 million, where's the risk? You think he's going to get $25 million? $2.5 million. Oh, two point five. Yeah, 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 that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I can see the Yankees pulling that trigger, and um, how do you think he's going to fit in? If Aaron Judge and Stanton, Sanchez, all these bigger stars, even Cole, lean on him immediately, lay down the law, I think he'll be fine. Exactly. Oh, um, Adam King, are you next to that piano you play? You're actually good at that. That's upstairs. I'm downstairs in my room right now. Oh, man, so you can't give us a tune? Uh, I can run up there. <laughs> I was just joking. If people don't know, Adam King plays an extraordinary piano. Where do you learn how to play piano, Adam? Uh, I was started teaching myself all the way when I was young, four or five, I could pluck tunes out. Just If I heard the tune, I could pluck it on the piano for some reason, never figure out why. And then when I was about 13, 14, I started teaching myself to play songs, and then I got piano lessons when I was about 17, and excelled very quickly. I was a prodigy, but never got the training until I was in my teens, went to college, finally got a virtuoso teacher who carried me amazingly well. And if people don't know, Adam is a prodigy as well when it comes to sports. He's very knowledgeable. A lot of people, a lot of Twitter trolls or whatever you want to call them, hate on Adam. But me as NY Felix, I discovered Pete from the Salmonetti source. I've discovered a whole bunch of people, actually. Uh, NY News has been out since 2005. 
So all of these people that you see with blogs now, they really wouldn't have one if it wasn't for guys like me. So I have identified Adam King as the next big thing. What do you think about that, Adam? I think it's pretty cool. I've always wanted to get into baseball writing. and never had an avenue until now. I mean, you're taking over the game. Um, I heard you say that um, you're the third best when it comes to writing articles. The next two above you are Ken Rosenthal and who else did you mention? Ken Rosenthal. Are the only two that had more reads than me. Ken Rosenthal and who else? Jeff Passon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's true. I mean, the stats are there. I have the uh, figures, the stats, and Adam King's articles are taking over the world. 800 something views in Russia alone of all for places. Jesus they Christ. About baseball. I mean, that's what we call Russian collusion. Maybe the Russians want to um, build you up and one day you get to run for president or something like that. So, Adam King, where, where do you stay? You're from Utah? I'm originally from Idaho Falls, Idaho, but right now I live in Salt Lake, Utah. We'll see how long I stay here. Exactly. Um, I'm going to get some business cards made for you, Adam, and you can pass them out over there in Utah. And um, who knows, maybe you'll get, you'll get lucky and get yourself a woman over there. That would be amazing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, writing for NY.News should give you some cred. So, Adam King, speaking about the Yankees, uh, where do you see them ending up uh, this season? How many wins? I have them 110 to 115 wins if Cole stays healthy the whole way through. If he gets injured, perhaps, whatever, he'll fall below 100, but I think he'll be fine. He's usually good at staying healthy. So 110 to 115 wins and breezing through the AL playoffs and then beating the Dodgers in six games in the World Series. Yeah, easily. I think the Yankees have an easy road ahead of them when it comes to winning the championship, but the uh, A's, the Rays, and the Twins kind of spook me out. Um, I'm not too afraid of the Rays. I think the pitching will come back down to earth, and they traded Dearnod and Pham. They're two hitters that were only two hitters that really hit the Yankees. So I think they're going to go downhill. The A's are going to be really good. they got a really good top three in that pitching rotation, just like the Rangers and some other teams. The Twins, I still don't like their pitching. I still don't think they have enough pitching. How about their home run um, threat, though? Uh, it's going to go back down because there's no juice ball this year. So I think it'll go down 100 home runs. Donaldson will help a little bit. But something tells me Nelson Cruz Bat's going to come apart as he ages. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think that guy's aging like other players are aging. Obviously, that guy's on something. Oh, he's obviously on the juice, just like David Ortiz. Look at his four, age 40 season. Exactly. Um, Talking about that, there's a whole bunch of players – going undetected. What's up with that? I would guess about 90% of pitchers are on the are on the juice because you go back even 10 years ago, you didn't see this kind of pitchers, many pitchers with 95 plus mile an hour fastballs. Where did they all come from? It's not natural. And then there's too many hitters that are hitting the ball too far for their size. Like a Mookie Betts. He's barely bigger than me and the first I've ever hit a baseball is 98 feet. I was on a 98 mile an hour fastball. I mean, well, Altuve can't even go on a roller co coaster ride, and he's hitting about, what, 30 home runs per season? Yeah. And they say Betts is one of the best players in the game, yet you look at his stats, and they're right in the middle of the average stat player stats. So I'm not sure where they're getting that. Exactly. But, um, yeah. Adam King, in these closing segments, what do you want to add? They say, watch out for the Yankees. You never know who they could trade for. They are in the best, as you bowed it to, they're in the best spot financially and uh, trade pool-wise, they have so much they could trade. Other teams can't match with all their MLB experienced guys. Just look out for the Yankees. They can do anything this year. Go get anybody they wanted this year. It's going to be quite the year. And um, people don't know this as well. You're an expert on Yankees prospects. You've written a whole bunch of articles about you know who to look out for, et cetera. Who do you want or who do you see the Yankees um, calling up this season or coming out from spring training? I'm starting to lean more and more towards Clark Smith stealing the fifth spot in the rotation. He's the only one lined up for it right now. Mike King could, but he'd have to switch his alignment up, move him up a data pitch, or move him back a data pitch to get him in the alignment. I think Mike King makes the bullpen as a long man, though. David Garcia, I'm starting to think, may have to wait till June or July to see him. They might push him back till they need him. Uh, as for hitters, Trey is going to come up at some point. Yankees always use eight nine out for the year. He's I think sixth on the depth chart right now until Judge Stanton and Hicks get back. They don't follow ninth. Then Chris Gittins. Keep an eye on Chris Gittins. Yeah, yeah, I like that guy, Chris. 
He looks he's like a beast. He's the next Del Sano. He is going to break out of the scene big time. He hit a ball 600 feet yeah. the other day in batting practice. He's a sleeper. He's one of those sleepers that not a lot of people have heard about. Yeah. And I saw him the other day. That guy looks intimidating at the plate. He's like 6'5", 6'6", six, 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 and 260 pounds. I mean, he's got all the power in the world. He's like a better version of, uh, what was that guy's name that the Yankees signed a few years ago? Chris something? I forgot his name. Because Chris he was Carter, over, I think. Yeah, Chris Carter, yeah. Yeah, literally, he's like a better version of Chris Carter. Yeah, getting into the last year, about a 278, Carter never approached that. Exactly. Carter, Carter at least could hit the home run ball, Miles. But this guy looks like he has all the tools, though. Yes, he's going to be an average hitter. He could play very good above-average first base if he gets wanted to put him there. He can also play the outfield, so he's versatile. He's going to break in at some point this year. We'll see when. So, Adam, tell the people out there where they could find you online. Find me at my uh, – I'm on Facebook. Just look at facebook.com slash Adam the Piano King. You should pull me up. I also created a page on there that is NMLY News is Adam King. You can look at that. I post all my articles there. Find me on uh, Twitter. That is, um, I have two Twitters. We'll go with the main one, which is at Top Sports Mind. You'll see my Adam uh, picture with Adam King and then the NLA News logo. I'm also on YouTube. Do you have a YouTube channel? I'll take it as a link to my Twitter. You can find it through that. Or go down to YouTube and type in, let's see what I used to find. I can type in Adam King and NLA News. It should pull up pretty quick, at least one of my videos, and you can go through there and find it. Well. So, Adam King, what, do you, what did you think about that Photoshop image that I created of you in a pimp hat? It's a it's an okay one. It's not my best <laughs> look, but it's okay. That was hilarious. That was just a joke, anyways. So, Adam King, what, before we we leave, what's your IQ? You seem like a very very intelligent man. The last two times I took the IQ, I got one sixty one and one fifty nine. So obviously you're smarter than me. What what does that mean? Where does that rank? Albert Einstein's IQ was one sixty four. Jesus Christ. So, wow. This is how and this is why NY News Felix gets the best to rep NY News. Well, what most people know about the IQ test is if you study every subject, you get really good every subject, you'll do a lot better at the IQ test. You get a higher score. And literally, folks, if, if you don't know by Adam King, if you read his articles, if you follow his tweets, obviously a lot of people get triggered by Adam because he doesn't stand down. But that's just his high IQ talking. I mean, this guy's just a genius. I know a lot about a lot, <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> All right, so Adam King, great having you on. Where can people find you on YouTube? Let me pull this up. I think it's Adam King, right? Adam King yep. on YouTube? It says Adam King. It has phaseblast at gmail.com. So if you put that in the search of YouTube, it should pull my account up. So Adam, um, one more question. Where do you see your career in talking about baseball going? Oh, right now I'm not 100 percent sure. I'd love to build this up to go to like spring, yeah, spring trainings, a couple of maybe go to winter meetings to build up connections, and maybe maybe I can. I mean, if you want, I could send you out there. I could send you out to spring training if you want. Uh, maybe not this year, maybe next year, but yeah. All right, cool, man. I mean, follow Adam King. I'll leave all of the links on the description bar below. And great having you on, Adam. All right, thank you much. Thanks for having me. Check them out on nyy.news. That is not nyynews.com. That is nyy.news. Before it hits the front.